Hi there. I'm John Aegis, a pianist and composer who's played for audiences around the world. Sometimes a cruise ship in Alaska, one time the China Orient Express, long before we heard of a virus. So today I'm making this video for the Homes Are Everything series from Home Equity Bank, the providers of the reverse mortgage, chip reverse mortgage. I just call them the bank. Thanks to their help, I'm able to stay in the home I grew up in, and you're going to hear a few stories about that today. But first, I'm going to turn your home into a little concert hall. So uh, come with me. I'm just trying not to trip on a cable here. I'll get you a good spot. Hold on. There you are. Okay. Well, I want to see that. Don't want to cut off my head. There isn't enough hair up there to begin with. Uh, yeah, it's still not working. Anyhow, I've composed music in different parts of the world. And the one time I was on sabbatical in Vancouver and someone in Toronto that I knew needed some music for a prayer healing group. And we created a CD for them called The Healing Touch. One of the songs on that CD is called In Limbo. And I've been told by many people at this time, being at home, that they feel very much like they're in limbo. Let's see if I can remember how that sounds. a long time ago but I think it makes you feel like you're in limbo. Do you ever hear the story of how some songs are composed in five or ten minutes? Well one time years ago long before we had computers and in this very house upstairs I woke up at 3 30 in the morning hearing this music and of course when I woke up there was no sound I went back to sleep and I heard this music again and it wouldn't let go of me. So I had to get up quietly and practice it a little bit on the piano, not waking anybody up and waiting until morning came so I could play it all out and write it out on paper and pencil back then. You know, digital keyboards weren't that prevalent. And uh, it got the name Liberty's Gate. So why don't we just open that gate right about now?
sometimes don't uh, songs don't just show up like that. Sometimes they have to be worked. Sometimes I've been on a deadline and I couldn't finish the song <laughs> to save my life. So uh, one time I met a tourist in Jamaica who videotaped me in this show. It wasn't a musical show. It was a, a hypnosis show and I got drafted. I didn't volunteer. He comes up to me at the end of the show and says, your dog was the best dog in the world. And unfortunately, I know what he was talking about. So he sent me the videotape of myself on stage. And as a thank you, I sent him some of my music. He wrote back that his wife had to skate to this song. She was one of the coaches of the German Olympic team at that time, and she had to skate to this music. So I told him to make sure it was private because the music wasn't published yet. And she opened up the arena in the middle of the night and went and skated to this song and they named it Harmony of Untouchable Love. So I didn't dare change the title after that. Now you can pretend that you're skating in an ice rink in the middle of the night all on your own to Harmony of Untouchable Love. After all these years, it's still cute, that song. Uh, sometimes ideas come to me and I don't remember where they started or where they finished. This next song was written somewhere between here and Trinidad and I honestly can't remember where most of it came from. I think it's just because it was so long ago, not because uh, of any other consciousness reasons on my part. So this ended up being called Quiet Strength. And the interesting thing about that title is, you know, when somebody is strong and they're loud and aggressive with it, and it's kind of a turn off because you, just not my style. And if someone is quiet and they don't really display a strength and they're, they're steering away from things, you kind of feel sorry for them. But Quiet Strength, seems to speak of a balance, doesn't it? Mm -hmm.
sometimes these songs just name themselves you know so let's see now we started off in limbo and then we opened liberty's gate then hopefully we were touched by harmony of untouchable love and we end up with quiet strength and that's my wish for you in these days and always thanks for letting me come into your home you know, take care of yourselves and each other if you're in a group and uh, I'll see you around huh? bye for now mm -hmm.